talk to you. But Wendy was telling me that you used to own a dress store in Hamilton, and, and, and I thought that what you might be able to do is just talk about uh, Jewish merchants, you know? Like, that I could answer. You know, where they lived, where their stores were, what they sold. A lot of that. You ask specifically questions, and I'll give you specific answers. Well, I, I'm just asking you to remember back to when you had that store. Oh, that was 1944, where... Uh, and, and were there other Jewish merchants besides you? Yes, all you? around us. Talk about the ones you remember. Everybody. I worked before that for Gins Bill Ginsburg at the Rainbow. Before that, I worked on Ottawa Street for Sutton's. Then, when I got married, I, my husband was a furrier, and the fur and the lint bothered him badly, so I made him give that up, and we opened a little store. Right now, the um, German food store is right there on the corner of Ferguson and King. On the corner was Abe Goldstein. He had a men's store. We were next door. There was a restaurant, and then uh, down the street was Wonders, and further down was Solly Adler, and um, a block above was um, now the name must come back to me. There was the uh, sample shop run by Willie Roden, and um, there was another one that came in for a short time, run by two Jewish girls that had worked in the area. So, uh, Sykes, Molly Sykes, not Molly, it was her sister-in-law. Then there was Ropies. And then there was uh, he passed away just recently. Hard to remember. All Mac, this. Uh, not Max. Um, his wife still comes to Shul. Is this on King Street? King Street. Um, some of the names are sliding through right now, but uh, I can see him standing here. He, he always sold the tickets at the shul for the two for one. Uh, at the when we have the casinos. Okay, that was before my time. No, 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 no. This is just recently. Really? He just passed away a few months ago. His wife worked for JCC. Certain names. Fosters. Are, you don't mean Fosters? No, no. Fosters were further up the street. Uh, Further up there was uh, Jurofsky on the corner, and uh, there was, uh, further up was Bill Ginsburg with the Rainbow Shop. His grandson now runs it. And around on James Street was another store of his, run by his brother-in-law, uh, It's hard Bunny, to remember. You're marvelous, you know? Funny. Uh, married Levinson, Bunny Levinson's. Uh, Charles Levinson, the shoes. Well, that was further up on the west side of James Street on King. And then there was another. Uh, I, I can see these pieces, people standing in front of me. Uh, Bailey, Bailey Waxman's parents had a small store between Charlie Levinson and James Street. Uh, it was a uh, more intimate apparel and casual. Um, so this was in the 40s? I'm talking in the 40s. As in there, the 30s. Was there a place in town where you can get good schmaltz herring? 
I've been looking for that, but I think... No, back then, back then. Oh, yes, 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 yes. My late grandmother had a little grocery store across the street when I was a child, and she had a barrel of herring. Uh, the, all the fish stores, the big fish store, yes, on King, just east of us, uh, Thinley, Thinley Fish, uh, was run by a Jewish family. They're all, they were all members of our shul. Your late grandfather was one of the stalwart people of the city. He and my father were friends. Where we lived on John Street North, uh, it was all Jewish people then. The Goldblatts, the Levinsons, the Levies, the um, Adlers, were all in the vicinity of Barton. And from Barton to Cannon, from Robert to Catherine. And um, the Rosens, they had the first store on Barton Street. Uh, I'm trying to think of certain his, her son, the son still comes to our school, although he's living in Toronto. I know it looks just like my family, right. but it's hard to... And you knew all of these people. I, I was born here. I was born where the CNR station Luana Gardens is today, in 1916. My father had a little store, and he'd go out with a wagon and a horse, and my mother would look after the store. And across the road on the corner was a police station, and a lot of Italian people. Uh, we were very close. What did you sell in the store? In mine, in my own dress shop. No, in your uh, parents' oh, my, store. It was used uh, used uh, furniture. He, my father, would take an old stove and he'd fix it up. And their head nurse at the general hospital was a very good friend of his, and she'd call him and she'd say. They have no heat in such and such a place. Can you help me? My father would take the stove and the pipes and go and put it all up for her for years. And when my sister Goldie, no, Irene, was a year and a half younger than I, that was Linda Morris's mother. Mm -hmm. And she and I went from this nurse arranged for us to go to the Spectator uh, Fresh Air Camp out in, uh, along the lakefront, just along the shore there for two weeks. Because we were, we were a family of 12 children. But our rooms were big, so my, the boys had five bedrooms in their one room, and the girls had two double beds and a single bed in the other room. And when a very poor woman, a nice Italian lady, had no place to go, a cot was put at the end of our bed for her. There was always room for everybody. And when we had satyrs, 35 would have the first sitting, and then they'd get up and they'd serve the other 35. This is the way we lived. I have pictures all along in through some of these books. That's why I don't part with anything. And then later on, we had the big satyrs at my sister Mary and Levy. Marion and Harry Levy, they had a home on Thorndale with a basement that was 22 feet wide and 36 feet long. And she had her kosher Pesach kitchen downstairs. And we would all go and prepare the dinners together. 80, 70, 80 of us would sit down together. Before that, when we lived on James Street over the store, uh, Pesach, we'd be all sitting around the tables would be all spread out. The furniture moved out like I had here on several occasions. And all of a sudden, a knock on the door, and it'd be the police inspector coming for his little glass of wine. He came and said, well, yeah, I love you. <laughs> but he always got his glass of wine. But this is the way we've always lived, close. 
And um, then, as I say, along uh, York Street is another whole section. Uh, on James Street North, going down from King Street, there was uh, Minden's Jewelry, and uh, then there was Ginsburg had a dress shop that his brother-in-law, Benny, Bunny's maiden name, Bunny Levinson's maiden name, her uncle ran that. I was working between the two stores. And then further down, there was uh, the, the home, uh, the furniture store by Epstein. Then Miller's had the shoe store there. They lived upstairs. It sounds like most of the downtown merchants were Jewish. Yes, yes. Jurassic's had a few hat stores. Um, I know them all even now, those that are around. Was the economy good in those days? Was the economy good in those days? Well, for a nickel, you could buy a loaf of bread, you could buy a dozen eggs for a dime, you could buy a pound of butter for 12 cents. A pound of, uh, five pounds of sugar was about a quarter. But our wages, my wages, I started very young. Um, I'd walk from James Street to Ottawa Street, Myers, Alters, uh, Nathan on one side, plus um, Lily, he just passed away. Lily, Lily Latner married, um, the daughter comes to school right now. Uh, she's... Donna Vine? Oh, Donna Vine was my girl, my niece's girlfriend. They were, the Vines had um, a store on York Street and the uh, other sister, Mrs., Mrs. Vine's sister, had the, the store on Kenilworth Avenue, a war surplus. Um, I'm trying to think of... No, that's great stuff. And you belong to the Beth Jacob. I was I born into the Beth Jacob, and that's where I belong. Now, yes, I was sir. going to tell you that when we were teenagers, the old Cannon Street School had Sunday afternoon tea dances. And the, uh, Sally Adler, they all came in from Guelph and Kitchener and Galt to be with at the tea dances to meet the Jewish girls. And you remember the dances? Oh, yes, like yesterday. I love dancing. What kind of dances did you do? They had an orchestra. Well, I'm not a dad. I never took lessons. I never had time. I just danced with my husband. I danced with all anybody who came along. Wonderful. I was always the first on the floor and the last off. Is that right? Yeah, but I don't do it now. What year was this when they had the tea dances? It was in the late, wait a minute, no, I was 14, 15, 16 at, in those years. So at 14, I, it was 19. I was born in 16, it was 1929, 1930, 1931, 1932 area. Every week we had a ball. Sometimes, it was mostly, I don't remember winter, I don't think it was in the summer. But I've known Solly Adler since then. He had the dress, the men's store down the street from me.